Hey guys, this is Eddie Hall from Queens University in Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm here today with Figure It Out Baseball. Just kind of want to talk through some different things um, on infield play and some stuff that I think really needs to get taught at the younger levels so that when you guys get to that high school, college level, you have a really good foundation. If I was coaching a youth practice and I had 30 minutes with my infielders, what would we do in those 30 minutes? So I kind of start, I compare it to tee work and I compare it to how you're preparing offensively. So we'd start on a tee, then we may start with flips, then we back up to overhand BP and then may really challenge you guys with the machine, with fastballs and breaking balls. That's what we would do with our hitters. With my infielders, I do a lot of the similar stuff. So we'll start with our everyday dry drills. So we may start partner drills, you know, about five feet from each other, and we're just gonna roll the ball to each other and funnel into the middle of our bodies. After that, we may do some one hops, work in one hand stuff, and if they're eight, nine, 10 years old, teach them with one hand. I think it helps their athleticism and their overall range of, range of movement as an infielder. So after that, we may back up. If I'm a coach, go stand around the mound, and I'm gonna roll my ball, roll baseballs to my, to my infielders at shortstop. They're gonna catch, funnel to the middle of the body, you know, just flip it back to me, but like keep all your footwork going towards first base. That may last a good eight to 10 minutes. And then after that, then we can go into our fungo segment where we're hitting ground balls live off the bat. And then any type of live scrimmage work that can be done through BP or a live scrimmage at the end, that's kind of how you can incorporate it. So as an infield coach, that's how I would structure some sort of a 30 minute infield plan. Start short, start with dry work, get the hands going, then get the feet moving and then simulate live and get, up, get the body flowing from there. That's how I would work my infielders in a short second. But if I'm scheduling a practice and looking at an overall practice plan for the day, whether I'm with youth guys, I'm with high school guys or whatever, I wanna really incorporate defensive work at the beginning of practice, finish the day with offense. That's how we always structure our practice and that's how we get the most out of it. So if I have a two hour practice, I'm probably gonna say the first 30 minutes, we're gonna work through our individual defensive work. Um, so all the stuff that I've just been talking through, that may be, that's probably gonna last about 30 minutes. If you have an hour and a half practice, cut it down, 15, 20 minutes. But every day, I think you should start with some sort of infield work, some sort of defensive work, and then transition to the offensive side of things. So just to kind of sum it all up, guys, if I, if, you know, if I have a practice plan, I wanna keep my guys moving and being as efficient as we can with our time. So if we have 30 minutes of infielders, we're moving them, we're moving, there's not gonna be a bunch of standing around. If I have 15 minutes with them that day, that's fine, but we're gonna be as efficient as we can for that, for that amount of time keep the guys moving, don't have single file lines, and just keep them entertained. Keep it fun, keep it energetic, and be passionate about it. Again, guys, my name's Eddie Hull. I'm with Queens University in Charlotte. Um, I'm here with Figure It Out Baseball, and you guys just heard my thoughts on how to structure an infield practice on the front end. Um, and now, if you guys just wanna check out some of my other videos, um, one of my best videos, the Aussie, Aussie Drill, is gonna be great for you guys. I have some other infield things on there as well.